Hey guys, welcome back to Canadian ATV Life. As you can see behind me, this is not an ATV, this is an old car. Mostly on the channel, we're all quads, but we do have old cars, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna do some videos of some old cars. This is a 1927 Ford something something. It's an A, B, or C, I don't even know exactly how you tell. But I'm making a project of this car, and I thought I'd show it to you guys, because you might enjoy it. So this is what she looks like. I bought this car, it was supposed to be all rebuilt motor, and it was actually supposed to run and drive. Surprise, surprise, get it home. Does not run, does not drive. I took this car to, the, to a couple different places. Nobody can seem to make it run properly. The engine was completely overhauled at some point and the one guy got it to run, but it, it ran really rough. So I'm actually gonna build something special with this car, but before I do, I thought I'd do a walk around of what it kind of looks like now, and then I'll do a walk around of when it's done, hopefully. Okay. We got wooden wheels on it. The guy had redone the wheels. He redid the brakes. That actually all works. It's all mechanical, so you got to just stomp on it like crazy the floor to make it do anything. He did paint it, but the paint's not, it's not very good. It's got a lot of scratches. But, I mean, it's, it's okay. Like, it's for what it is. If you look, you can see the paint has a lot of imperfections, I guess you'd call it. Same thing. I did put new tires on it. I did want to do a video of it running and driving before, but I couldn't get it to run. So I put five brand new tires on it. I had to get these out of the States. They cost a small fortune. But you know, all the glass is in it. That's kind of a perk. And something that's really cool is these windows, these back windows, crank down. It's so cool. Like, I think that's pretty cool. They go down all the way. They're a little stiff. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's really cool. You can ride in here with the kids. And, uh... I don't need a tail light. It's funny because you only need one tail light, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Be easy for safety, anyways. And then this side's pretty much like the other side. There's no rust anywhere. I'll get a better angle here. The running boards have all been redone. It's all new wood. It's got some small dents and stuff, I guess, from people getting in and out, but it's an old car. A little dent right there, not too bad. Fenders are really nice, front fenders. On the front there. The hood's in good shape. But all the glass is in it, which is kind of a real perk. The top's not bad. You know. I know somebody must have redone it. Somebody gave it a lot of a lot of work. It's got a little burr of some description there. I'll show you guys the inside. I think it's cool. I mean it's like a combination between Beverly Hibbillies and Bonnie and Clyde. I think it's awesome. The seats, I don't know. I think they're original. They feel really nice. I don't know what kind of dead animal they are, but they're pretty cool. I, I custom lowered this one because I'm pretty tall and it used to sit like that one and my head hit the roof. It's got a nice uh, ceiling liner. I thought I heard a mouse in here the other day, so I put some mouse straps in here. The back seat's really nice. It's pretty good, but I mean, all the glass is good. The back floor, you know, somebody redid it themselves, so it's not perfect, but it's not bad. And then, same with the front floor, it ain't good. This steering wheel is awesome. Look at that steering wheel. Like, that's a heck of a tree. It's kind of got like a, it's kind of bubbly here. Like it's like skinny and then it gets fatter here. I don't know if it's swelled or what. It's kind of loose, so I'm gonna have to check that out. But here's the instrument panel. So I've actually already started ripping and I pulled the motor out of this car already. Because like I said, I couldn't get it to run. I was gonna do a video on it, but I mean, it was basically, this was the video, me hooking that to that, pulling it off. Pretty simple. And the hood and everything, there's just like one bolt that runs here. This all comes off. The rad's two bolts, rad comes off. And then with the engine, like this was, like I've done engines before and this was the easiest one. So there's a bolt here, bolt here. And then I thought at first I could leave this plate behind, but I guess the clutch is too rusted on, so then I just undid these bolts and it just came right out like nobody's business. So I gotta get this clutch pack off of here. But if anybody wants to buy this motor, it's supposed to be all redone. And I mean, he did redo. You can tell that the gaskets and stuff, not so much on this side. But some of the gaskets, you can tell all the bolts have all been, they've been touched. Not too many bolts haven't been touched. And they all come apart really good. So, I'm just going to pull off the hood and show you. 
So I just took the fenders off because it was super easy. Okay, I want to show you guys the inside. I pulled the floor up. And uh, this is the transmission, this little tiny little thing right here. The rest of that's all the clutch shield, so boy, that's pretty neat. You know, and then your drive shaft, you don't really have a U joint, you got this little, I don't know, I'd call it like a CV joint, I guess. And then in the back there, you, don't, you also don't, here, I'll get a better shot. You also don't have a U joint back here, which is pretty wild. I've never seen anything like that before. So I guess that you'd call that like another CV joint, but it's pretty cool. It's in pretty good shape, I like it. So anyways, my plan for this car, don't laugh at me, maybe it's been done. I've never seen it done in a car like this before. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this plate off. So I'll take the clutch off, steal this plate back. This is like the perfect car to do this with. That plate bolts back in here. This transmission pulls up straight, you know, the housing bolts will bolt to that to hold this secure. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a one inch shaft. I'm gonna put it welded on here, out to about here, put a bar across to the hanger bearing, put a sprocket on here. I'm gonna put a 13 horsepower Honda motor right here. Put a sprocket running down to that and back. And then with the hood and everything back on, you'll never know. And then that, that's what I'm gonna have. So you'll just pull the rope, car will start up, be a nice reliable little motor, parade car. And then you'll still have your, your gears inside. They'll be more like ranges because I'm not going to do a clutch. I'm just going to do like a little stratifical clutch is a plan. And that's what's going to power this car, I'm hoping. It's a nice light car. It's got mechanical brakes, so you don't want anything too fast. You know, if I put a little V8 or something in there, it's going to be costly. And I mean, it's not going to handle because these tires are pretty, like everything is, you know, where are you going to stop? You're going to end up changing everything, but. That's my project car anyways. On the next video, she'll be running and driving, I'm hoping. Let me know what you think. If you guys have ever seen that done, tag me in it so I know how they do it. I've kind of been looking and I've never seen it done on a car like this. I've seen guys do it on like homemade cars and stuff. But that's planned. Okay, wish me luck.